Okay, well here we are back in the arcade today, and today we're going to do a real simple fix on the Big Buck World. Now, the left shotgun on the Big Buck World has a bad recoil spring on the uh, shotgun pump. If you see it, it wiggles back and forth. So more than likely that spring in here is, is broken too. I had one that broke into three pieces. So we're just going to take this gun apart today. And after several attempts, they finally sent me the, the springs. So now I have a supply of springs. So now anytime I need to fix it, it won't be a problem. So we'll start by turning the game off and taking the screws out of the gun and disassembling the gun. Okay, now we got the game turned off and we got the gun laid out here. Uh, we're going to take all the screws out of the gun. And this is the deluxe version, so it has the LCD screen. So this one, instead of having the optical gun, it actually has a camera, infrared camera in to pick up the sensors, just like Terminator Salvation. But the gun should be essentially the same uh, except for the camera board. So the pump action and the, and the switches and, and everything should be the same. And of course the, the gun housing may be identical. I'm not sure where I won't know until I get it apart. But the same thing, we have to start, we have to take the Phillips screw out of this tip that, that um, sort of like a, a, a rubberized plastic tip to keep the end of the gun from getting beaten up real bad. And then we have to take the two screws out of the pump action that comes in two halves. And then of course we've got the screws along the, the length of the, uh, the gun housing itself. And once we take all those screws out, the, the housing top half should come right off and we'll have access to what we need to get to inside. So let's go ahead and take the screws loose. Okay, as I was taking the gun apart, I've noticed that the gun housing, the rear housing is cracked. So uh, somebody is uh, kind of did something to this uh, gun here and, and broke the housing. I initially didn't see it because on the front side where the screws are, uh, it's intact, it's not broken. So, um, but it did have, I noticed a screw here is missing and a screw here is missing. And uh, so I don't know how the screws got out of it, but the housing is broke, but I think it'll hold itself together with one side until I find out what uh, Matt wants to do with it. Okay, well we're in to the gun and as you can see right here, the spring is broken. So that was our major problem until we discovered that the, the housing is broken. Now, it appears to me that the camera board here has rubber bands around it. So this, I thought, was supposed to be a brand new game, but maybe this was a refurbished game, and maybe this uh, damage was already done to the gun. I just never noticed it since it's been on the, up, on the back side. But um, I don't know. So I'm going to take a look at it here, and replace the spring and see if I can't put it back together and uh, get it buttoned up so that it's at least usable and then might have to think about replacing this housing. So uh, let's go ahead and see what I can figure out. Okay, well the gun is back together and the pump action spring is fixed. And when we put it back together, the, the crack went back together fairly well. You can still see it's cracked but you can flex it and it stays pretty tight because I've added the extra screw up, up in the front housing here which was missing and there was another one screw up here missing which was letting it uh, twist and, and had that crack in it. So I believe it's going to be okay for the time being. Uh, we may have to address this in the future. Uh, may try to uh, maybe use some type of a, a glue on it but I doubt that would hold, so probably going to have to wind up replacing that uh, the housing. But for the time being, it ought to be fine. So we'll go ahead and put it back up on the game here and turn the game back on, let it boot up, and then we'll give it a test to make sure it still works because I didn't test it before I pulled it apart. Uh, 
because I didn't know it had the crack in it. So hopefully it's going to work. All right, so we're waiting for the big buck world to boot back up. You can see the spring that was in the shotgun for the for the recoil, the reload. Uh, this one had broken into four separate pieces. The last one I replaced had broke into three pieces. So uh, the springs are definitely get a lot of wear and tear. Okay, we're back in the arcade again, and uh, a couple weeks ago, I had to put a new uh, spring in this gun for the recoil, for the pump action, and I noticed that the, uh, the gun housing was cracked. Actually, it's more than cracked, it's broke all the way in two on one half. So, they, they sent me a new, new gun housing, complete housing. So today I'm going to take all the guts out of the, the working cracked gun and uh, transfer them over to the new gun housing. Now they didn't send me the, the decal kit, so uh, I won't have decals on the gun. Uh, evidently that's an extra expense that uh, they don't feel is necessary, but I'm, I'm going to ask them anyway. Maybe they just forgot it, but no big deal because you really don't need the decals on the gun. Uh, for the game to function and function properly. So the main thing is to get that housing fixed. So let's go ahead and tear it down and, and start transferring everything over. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna corn the game up and make sure that this gun is working because uh, I don't wanna transfer everything over and then find out I got a problem. Uh, I wanna know if, if the gun has a problem before I start. That way I'll know that if it does have a problem after I'm finished, it's a problem that I may have caused. But, uh, so let's go ahead and corn the game up. And let's see if it's shooting. And it is. Okay. So the, uh, the gun is working. So that's good. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and uh, turn the game off. Don't want power on it when you're working on on the game. And the, uh, so let's go ahead and power it down. Okay, on the big buck hunter, uh, the switch is right here next to where the the power cord goes in. So we just cut it off there, and uh, you can unplug it, but that's not really necessary since I'm not going into the game itself. I'm just going to be working on the gun, which is plugged into the game through a USB plug anyway. So uh, all we have to do is just turn the power off at the switch. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this assembly of the, of the gun. Okay, first thing I like to do is get my tools out. Uh, this is going to use two different size security bits and a Phillips screwdriver. Now you have a Phillips screw in this tip protector and you also have a Phillips screw right down here in the trigger guard. The rest of them you have a larger size uh, security bit for these two for the recoil uh, pump and then the, the rest of them are all the, the smaller, uh, smaller size but they're all the same size security bit. So let's go ahead and, and remove all the screws and take the gun apart. Okay, well, here we have the, the new gun housing laid out next to the old gun housing. We have all the screws out of the old gun housing, so we're, we're ready to transfer everything over. I uh, also have a, a new screw hardware kit for it, so we can put new screws back in it, and we'll just put the old screws back in the old housing and save those for parts. Okay, so let's take the housing off the gun. So now what we have to do is, is transfer everything over from this gun into the new housing. Uh, that's going to involve taking the screws out of these switches and, uh, and we'll have to 
put that metal piece in right there, which is, uh, I guess, a support of some type. And of course, the camera assembly. And we'll make sure we put that back in in the right direction. So uh, let's go ahead and start transferring. Okay, we've transferred everything over to the new gun housing now. And it's all in place. So now we're ready to set the, the top of the gun housing down on it and put the screws back in it. All right, well, the gun is all finished. Back on the game. Now we can turn the power back on and try it out. Okay, let's try it out and see how it works. Big Buck World is back up again, 100% ready to go. So that's it for this edition of Arcade Fix. Have you had your Arcade Fix today? <laughs>